Greetings, friends. I'm here with Father Patrick, and I asked Father Patrick to write a piece, which you're going to see real soon on Sunday, on the whole idea of Holy Day of Obligations. Now, you know, as I think about this, I think that, well, of course, every Sunday is a Holy Day of Obligations, correct? Obligation, correct? Yeah, that's right. right. And, of course, <clears throat> back in the day, a Catholic wouldn't even dream about missing yeah. Sunday, Sunday, right? And... Um, and I think that we've been losing vision of that as a congregation over sure. many years. And then, of course, when COVID came, we realized that, hey, I've been missing Sundays and I haven't gotten hit by lightning. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I said, hmm, well, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, tell us a little bit about Holy Day of Obligation, especially the one that's coming up yeah. for All Souls Day. Yeah, All Saints, but yes. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. I'll, okay. Nobody okay. gives me a chance to talk about both. Okay, really, good, good, good. Okay, thank so, you. All Souls is de facto, right? But okay, the people right. Have, you know, mm -hmm. see that as a day of obligation. So, uh, so yes, as Father John said, uh, every Sunday of the year is, is a day of obligation. But I always like to say that um, it's better to do things not out of obligation, but to see it as right. a, a holy day of opportunity, if you will. Uh, Can we change it then? The holy day of opportunity? Why not? You know, that's a... Uh, as it's long true. as the bishops don't uh, get mad at me, I don't think they do whatever want to do there. Yeah, so right. so to see, you know, and, and, and why? I mean, we should do this because it's the right thing to do, because God wants us to. It's just like, uh, you know, husband and wife are going to be faithful to each other because they want to be. But, mm -hmm. you know, if there's a struggle at some point, there's a rule that talks about being faithful, right? So mm -hmm. it's the same thing, that we should do this because we want to be here. Um, but on days where it's, uh, you know, we feel that, that desire to sleep in or we're, we're tired, uh, or we just uh, want to have a lazy day, well, then we have a rule saying, no, 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 it's a sin, really, if we can be a mass and we choose not to be. Mm -hmm. the, the letter does talk about, you know, if there's unavoidable work or if you're sick mm -hmm. or you're taking mm -hmm. care of someone who's sick, there are good reasons not to come to mass. But, I mean, really, our attitude would be, I really want to be there. Correct, but yeah. if something, like, Comes up that comes really up prevents that, you. That, that yeah. you can't do it. Weather, it could be weather. Yeah, right. It could be of many things. Yeah, right. And mm -hmm. so, so we'll, we'll talk about that. But um, aside from these, uh, you know, the 52 days, 52 Sundays a year, roughly, that, that we should be at Mass, we do have, in this country, seven other days of obligation. Now, I do briefly state in the letter, three of those, if they fall on a Saturday or a Monday, are no longer days of obligation. I think that's silly. But, you know, I, I like consistency. I like knowing that well, this is what it is and that we don't have to wonder from year to year. But uh, coming up, we do have a day that does not fall on a Saturday, but on a Friday, All Saints Day. So November 1st is... Uh, this year, a holy day of obligation. It's it's a day to celebrate, as the name says, all the saints, meaning not only those uh, holy men and women that the church has canonized, not, not just those that, that we know, like John Paul II or Catherine of Siena that are in heaven, but but all of the, even our relatives and friends and neighbors who have died who are in heaven. We don't now, we're not saying who is. We don't know. Maybe it's, maybe some of our family, friends, and neighbors are still in purgatory. But for those that are in heaven, we, we celebrate them and we ask them to pray for us uh, on, on this day. So it's one of my favorite days of the church. So then yeah. what would be the difference then between all saints, as you, as mm -hmm. you just described it, and all yeah. souls? Ah, good point, yes. Mm -hmm. So well, as, as you know, um, many, hopefully as, as you know, I'm, I'm sure that, that uh, we have this sense that when we die, Many of us may not quite be ready to, to meet our Redeemer face to face, that we might have a few things that we still need to be cleaned up for. And so we, we know that purgatory is a, a merciful teaching, a merciful doctrine of the church, mm -hmm. that uh, if I don't get my stuff together in this life, there's still one more chance uh, to, to be cleaned up. Um, and so this, uh, you know, the saints that we celebrate on the 1st of November are those that are already with God. On November 2nd, we celebrate all souls, all the faithful departed who have died uh, in God's favor, in a state of grace, but who are not yet in heaven, who still have to be purified. Uh, that, that, you know, that last grudge, they're not quite ready to let go, but whatever it is. I'm sure glad there's an all souls day. Me too. Yeah, right. yes, we, we need people to pray. You know, most of my family's Protestant, so when I die, if y'all don't pray for me, who's, who's going to do it, right? Um, so, so, yeah, pray that I get to see the Lord face to face sooner than later, but... Mm -hmm. But um, all that to say, we have three masses on all saints to help people meet the obligation. And all souls is not a day of obligation on the 2nd, 2nd of November, not a day of obligation, but uh, it's still a day where many Catholics like to go to mass, just like on Ash mm -hmm. Wednesday or Palm Sunday. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And so uh, so we, we want to offer uh, three opportunities for that as well. That's going to be advertised in the bulletin, on Facebook, uh, Sunday mass announcements and so forth. And... Uh, 
and, and we have a book. Tell us about the book. Oh, the Book of the Dead. You That's mean. right. Yes, okay, mm-hmm. good. So, so, yes, we have Book of the Dead. In the past, those who have died in the past year. Uh, so, um, Make sure it's last year. I mean, yeah, yeah. don't try to sneak in people for the last two or three years. Yeah. Okay. Or, or 50 years ago, right? Okay, yeah, in, right? In some places, I think the custom might be to just write all your, your Because your we're going to be, we're dead. Gonna be saying out all the names, and we don't want to spend an hour doing that. Correct. Right? So, yes. Okay. So, yeah. yeah I, I have a reputation, right? So it's so old, and, and we can't have that... that uh, um, efficient last time if, if, if people write names of those who have died beyond the past year. So so we do want to remember that. In November is a month dedicated to prayer for the faithful departed. So we want to pray for our beloved dead throughout the month, but we, we really kicked that off on November 2nd and um, with the reading of the names of those who have died recently. Mm-hmm. Um, but just because we're only asking for, for those within the past year, all of us should be praying for those who have passed on, regardless of how long ago it was. Yeah, and you know, we are the closest to our loved ones who have passed away mm. at the Mass. Yeah, right. Keep that in mind, mm. you know, because yeah. the Mass webs heaven and earth. That's right. Which yeah. is a, another way to, you know, even as we speak of the obligation, and there is an obligation, and it is a sin not to come to Mass on Sundays and days of obligation, but but to remember, yes, what you said, uh, this gives me another chance to be close. Or to remember God is less praised when, when I'm not there, when you're not there. And all these, these good reasons, very positive mm-hmm. things to focus on um, to come. Not only when we have to. Yes, we have to on the first. We don't have to on the second. But how much greater of a gift is that to give to, to God and, frankly, to ourselves and our loved ones who have died to come on days where we don't have to, to pray for them? Yeah, well, good. Well, we are going to see you on Sunday. Aren't you glad we have him around? Oh, dear. I, I well, really am glad. You know, he's the... I think he means it. <laughs> yeah, it's good to be yeah. with you. Good to be with so, you. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so I I call on him when I need to find out some you know yeah sure about this stuff. You know? So I had him write this letter. Very so. complimentary. Yeah, we, <laughs> we work together well. Okay. God bless you. Bye. Take care.